editing attributes um, of features. I think what we'll do is we'll look at the attributes of our trees. Uh, you can barely see the symbols down there. Let's, we can actually adjust the symbology to begin with. Let's right click, we go to symbology, and let's click there and choose some sort of symbol that's more visible. Uh, we'll click on that thing there just for now. Yeah, we can now see them. Uh, not a great symbol for a tree, I would say, but you know, uh, got to start somewhere. Um, now, we want to uh, select the, uh, the objects that we want to edit. Here we have the selection pane. If we click on attributes, uh, it tells us we can select by attributes, but what layer? So we need to select the layer there, and we want to select trees, and we have a number of trees there. Which one's which? Well, we don't know. Um, if we click on that one, that's number 10. Number 11, ah, look, number 11, there we had that deciduous. Um, okay, um, which one is that? Flash, it's that one. Okay, do we think that's a deciduous? Well, it's kind of pointy at the top, so that's actually probably coniferous. So we could go there and click con, how about coniferous? Coniferous. Um, yeah, and then a little second to finish thinking, and then click on apply. So now we've changed that one to coniferous. That first one there, well, that was probably, and of course, that one there. Let's say both of those are deciduous and we need to code them up as deciduous. We can mark both of them uh, and then in the type text here we can say deciduous. Uh -huh. And apply it. And they should both be changed. Let's say that we're happy with that now. Um, well, we can change it to one last one. Let's, let's change that to coniferous just to be be wild and crazy. So there we go. So now we've changed the attributes for, for those points. Uh, they haven't been saved, not yet. So those changes, they exist. Uh, you can see we've got deciduous, deciduous in the first two, and coniferous and coniferous there. Uh, we need to save the changes there. Save the changes. And we've managed to save the edited attributes now. So now we've managed to edit the attributes, but still they all look the same. So we go back to uh, symbology and let's kill that. I want symbology, please. And instead of single symbol, we'll do unique values. And um, the type text will decide. And we have coniferous and deciduous. So we can edit that symbol to something. Let's click on properties there and change the color to say that green there. And the size can be a lot larger. Uh, sure, we can see it down there. Good, that's our coniferous. Click on apply. Uh, go back there and then click on the deciduous. And that can have that color, but let's just make it a lot bigger. Um, and it is in absolutely no way are these pretty or correct, but we do see the difference. So there we go. That's uh, that's that. Um, editing the attributes, um, we can also edit them if we like directly in the attribute table. Uh, let's just draw that down a bit. So there, um, we. We edited this via selection before, but if we want to just go into a specific row in the table, let's say that one, let's see that's marked. Let's change that from coniferous to deciduous, deciduous, and then save. Yes, and we'll clear the selection. We can see it's now changed. Um, what happens if we change, let's change this second one here, which I believe is that one. Let's change that to something else. Let's change that to coniferous, misspelt with a K. What happens then? And then you press clear. And it just gets a very weird symbol 
it gets this all other values symbol. Now that was lucky that we kept the all other values. If we had removed the all other values, then that point would disappear. Uh, the data is still there, but there's no symbology for it because there is no such thing. We haven't, we haven't decided on the symbol for coniferous with a K. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, no, there's not the Swedish word for coniferous. Um, uh, but it's then just received this all other values catch-all thing. So that's, uh, that's a handy thing, but so quite often you, will have this, you won't have this active, you'll have deleted it because you don't want it. So if you do some editing or if you do some uh, digitizing and your objects just disappear, it could be that you have decided on the symbology uh, and coded up something new or misspelt the code or something like that and the object disappears. But it's still there in the database, you just need to give it a symbol.